Okay guys, we're gonna do some marbling techniques that you've seen with a lot of different inks out there. But Young Nails has had these liquid arts for quite a long time and they're in the primary color, so red, blue, yellow. And you can create any color with it. So they come in these packages, let me pull them out. And they're in little, and they're really, really, really potent. Like if I were to bust this open, I would look like I was like in a murder scene, it's fine but they have little droppers with them. And the reason they have droppers is so that you can add it to monomer to do liquid art with your acrylic, but we're just gonna use the straight art and show you how to do those cool different ink marbling effects. So, let's open these all real quick, guys. Blue, I guess I could leave them here for you to see. Okay, I'm gonna set the droppers to the side because I will replace these lids with the droppers. That way it's sealed and then I can use it. So you can see they're really, really potent. I might voice over this anyway, but I once spilt this and it was like murder scene for reals. Like just everywhere, everything. We had to throw towels away. So super, super, super potent. So I'm gonna start with a clean nail, and I'm gonna use I'm gonna use alcohol to blend this. When you see me doing it, I'm gonna put it down with my Wistonia Berry Wine Brush, and then I actually have one of the little Dove toe dough toe dough dough foot dough whatever. <laughs> and I get these in bulk off Amazon. I'm gonna maybe use this a little bit. We'll see. And then I also like to just use like a little cheaper brush that I can link from, that I use from Amazon to help blend things too. So, in fact, I need to clean that off because it has a little bit of polish on it. And I don't want that to go into my marbling. Okay, so I'm gonna turn these up and set them over here and open them. And I feel like it's gonna be like color mania. First one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do kind of some red and blue. I might even just use it right out of that lid. So we're gonna get purple in there. And then I do wanna do one with the red and yellow to get some good oranges and pinks and stuff, so. Okay. So I'm gonna take this red and I'm gonna blend it down. Just like I kind of would anyway. And then I'm gonna clean my brush off. What I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna put some, oh my gosh, look at it even splatter. It's just so potent. I'm gonna put some alcohol on a wipe and wipe it off. I might have to dip, might have to dip for the blue. I'm gonna trace it in some of the blue. so that I can make some purple action going on in here. Ooh, I want a little bit more red, but let's start blending and then we'll add a layer. So I'm first gonna use this with just a little bit of alcohol. And the thing is here that's a little bit different is your stuff is usually gonna run away from you. So I've got the alcohol kind of blending it. Hmm, that's gonna look cool. I might wanna wipe a little bit off. Let's see it start to marbleize on us. That purple looks so cool. Marble gets better and better as you layer it. So, I'm gonna let that dry for a second here. I am gonna pull some of the alcohol over the whole nail to see how it gives it like that shadowing and I want that to dry, and then I'm gonna go in with some more to create more dimension. I'm totally blowing on this to dry. Cause that already looks cool, like all the different dimensions in there. So, little baby, baby bit of red. from the top and then a little more alcohol 
go down over it. Ooh, I like this. I almost want to pull a little blue over that now. This could be like addicting to like go back and forth and like play. Oh, that pulled through so cool. So now you can take it and like fine, see those fine lines that it's adding? Cause it's just little bits of ink. Oh, that's so cool. So I'm gonna do another fine one over here. Freaking love it. Maybe, maybe a second one, just kind of tracing that red to give dimension. If you're pulling it through like the wet, it'll spread more. So this one spread more and then it dried. And then I pulled that one. But that is so freaking cool. Okay, let's do one with the yellow and red to create like coral. So I'll set that there. Clean my brush off. Oh, it's so potent. Make sure you're really, if you're not gonna use blue in there, make sure you're really cleaning it off. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with yellow first to kind of fill some of the space. And let it bleed off and clean off my brush. It's gonna go green in there. Cause I just cleaned off the blue. Okay. The red. And I'm wiggling, I am not being perfect. And then let's try the dove, what is it, doe foot? <laughs> Wanna call it a dove foot? And that's just not what it is. But I'm gonna use the point of it. And kinda just go through and dab. Cause this is the background, so I'm kinda filling in the spaces. And we'll go in and add detail. Oh yeah, we're getting that cool dimension. Okay, now I'm gonna take my clean, I'm gonna clean it off again, of the red. I feel like the red of this is like the most serious. I might even use a little acetone on my brush just to make sure it doesn't have it. Okay, so I'm gonna use the yellow and trace over this while it's wet. Do you see how that pulled really cool? So, it kind of pushes away from itself. You see that? Okay, that looks amazing. I'll do a little baby bit of red through there. Okay, now I need to let this alcohol dry before we do more. All right. Oh, that is so cool looking. Okay. Maybe a touch more of the yellow. Kind of in there. Okay. To blend and pull away from itself. Love it. Okay, now I'm gonna grab alcohol and soften those dots of color that have gone in there. I like that hard line that's pulled through, so I'm just gonna leave it. Okay, that looks awesome. Let it dry all the way. So, two different ones. Obviously, the possibilities are endless. But this is just using the liquid art from Young Nails. And I feel like it turned out so cool. Like, looks like true stone has that irregularities. 
You can get really fine and you can melt it out if you want to. You can use it in the alcohol so it spreads or let it dry and then go in and get more fine. Such a cool look. And then obviously I would top coat these and I would use gloss, the Young Nails gloss, so that they don't stain and to help it really retain its color. That's what I would do.